the wiring diagram for the installation of a Protronics kit in a Farmall cup. And these are the tools you're going to need. Turn off the ignition. Disconnect the battery. The easiest way is just to disconnect it at the uh, starter. Then we remove the distributor cap. And for this demonstration, we're going to remove the entire distributor. This is an international type distributor, and I'm removing the ignition wire. And now we're removing the entire distributor assembly. I always uh, mark with a pen the position of the rotor with respect to the distributor body. It just makes it easier to reinstall. You don't have to remove it to do this, but we did to make it easier to see on this video. Remove the rotor, remove the dust cap, then we're going to remove the condenser and the points and the post that um, goes through the distributor body. The post or terminal that goes through the distributor body needs to be removed so that the wires from the pickup can use that hole to exit the distributor. Clean out some of the dust and dirt and dried up grease from 50 years of being a tractor. The new plate screws in the wires for the pickup are inserted through the hole and the grommet keeps out all the water and dust and stuff from the environment and we'll need to screw down the pickup This is the, uh, the rotating magnet. A little bit of oil goes into that felt recess inside the, uh, uh, the distributor stem. And then the rotor goes right on. Remember to mark the position of the rotor. It makes it much easier to put the uh, distributor back in so that your timing is correct. The distributor cap goes back on. If any of your wires have fallen off, make sure that they've gone back on in the correct order. This is the ignition wire from the ignition switch. We're going to connect that to the white wire from the electrical pickup. It's actually the black wire, excuse me. I elected to use some spade connectors so that uh, in the future it can be removed um, with a minimum of uh, difficulty.
and there the connection is made. This wire isn't really a white wire, it has a white stripe on it. And this one goes to the coil. On this particular tractor, it has a 6 volt positive ground. And so this actually goes to the positive side of the coil. No, actually, it goes to the negative side of the coil because it is positive ground. So the white striped wire leaving the distributor from your pickup goes to the negative side of your coil. The positive side of the coil has to be connected to the chassis, or in other words, grounded to the chassis. Remember, on this particular tractor, as it probably is most likely on yours, it has a positive ground. It gets confusing, but it's not that bad. and you can ground this to any appropriate place uh, any place that has a good exposure to the chassis electrical activity in this case we're using the uh, the the bracket that holds the uh, coil in place as a uh, a place to ground the positive side of the coil your Petronics kit is going to give you somewhere in the order of 8 to 15 percent more power and 8 to 15 percent more um, more gas mileage it's been my experience that they run like a Swiss block they run very smoothly This tractor is actually running right now, and you can see how stable it is.